Good morning from Sunbird Hill on the edge of Kibali Forest. I seem to have disturbed the baboons today. I've got used to it being my little patch, but they're around now, so clearly they think they're the boss. They're very bold and they're very big. They've just been walking along the edge of the elephant trench and uh, see if they're going to come out again. I'm not using zoom. <laughs> this is how close we are. He's walking back to the edge of the elephant trench which for people who don't know is there to stop elephants coming out of the forest. Uh, Kibale National Park, which is just opposite there. That's all those trees are in the National Park. There's quite a few of them around this morning. Not sure what it is they're eating, but we had the chimps on one of the ficus trees a few days ago. But that's in the other direction. Gosh, it's quite a big group of them, aren't there? So you see the one on the left? That's on the other side of the trench. There's a couple over there. And then most of them are on this side. They look quite relaxed though, don't they? So I'm going to go a bit closer. I've got lots of babies. And there's the trench. Which is very deep. I think it's about four years old now. It's supposed to be maintained. It hasn't been maintained for ages because otherwise it will fill up with soil and eventually eventually fill in. But um, the elephants are clever. They just find a part where there's a swampy area that's full of water and all the soil falls in and then they just cross there. I seem to be right in the middle of a big troop of them. Olive baboons. Those are the kind we have here. Kibali, they're one of 13 types of primate. And whoa! Oh! They're running around me. Oh, that's interesting. So they're crossing to my right, walking along the edge, and then woohoo! Jumping across again. <laughs> walking down. That's how you do it. Of course, an elephant can't do that, but bush bark can. Look at him, he looks like he's sitting on a chair. There's a little one behind. So I wonder where they've been. I expect they've been at our neighbours. I expect they've been eating the maize. Some of them are really quite big, aren't they? I wouldn't want to mess with them, but they seem quite relaxed around me. Oh, this is lovely. This is a lovely sight. I haven't seen them do this before. Woohoo! Just checking they're not behind me. Come on, big boy. He's the size of a very big dog. More of them coming up. Yeah, so they're walking, jumping across the, the trench. This is Kibali National Park, Western Uganda. Uh, park measures, I think, 700 and something kilometres squared. It's most famous for chimps. It's the best place in Uganda to see chimps. There's a lot of chimps here. Um, but you can also see bush babies, lots of different monkeys, black and white colobus monkeys, red colobus monkeys, red-tailed, and so on. And it's a fantastic place for butterflies as well. We have the Antimacassus, Africa's biggest butterfly. Thousands of moths. We also collect and identify moths and butterflies, lots of snakes, 
including a few venomous ones. <laughs>